Hello, gorgeous NFA, no fucking around money mamas. It's time for episode number 42, and this one is in our Q&A series. So if you want to submit a question to me to have answered on the podcast, just go to speakpipe.com, S-P-E-A-K, pipe, P-I-P-E.com, and then backslash the woman entrepreneur podcast. And you can leave a question. If you promote your business, you can say your name, your business, and then ask a question and I'll answer it on the show. So again, go to speakpipe.com backslash the woman entrepreneur podcast. I would absolutely love to hear from you. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda, the money healer, and it is my quest, my mission, vi- <laughs> mission, <laughs> vision and mission to bring you tips, tools, and strategies to help you up level your money vibe so you can make bucks of money doing what you love in your business. And on the Q&A series, it's you bringing me questions that I answer. And this one is actually from a mastermind student. And we had such a wild conversation in mastermind the other day about lead gen. You all know I talk about lead gen a lot. When you're thinking about scaling your business, you've got to have a lead gen strategy because lead gen is the lifeblood of your business. If you don't have leads coming in consistently, it leads to all all kinds of crazy stress and understandably because imagine that you were a storefront and no one was ever coming in the door and you're just sitting there all day with these operating costs and feeling drained and shitty and scared and you go no one's coming in and what if you just sat there and you're like why isn't anyone coming and you just didn't do anything it's interesting how sometimes in online businesses, we tend to do that. We go like, well, I'm going to build it and they should come. And it doesn't work that way. Even in manifesting, you got to take action, right? You don't just sit there and like, you know, in the lotus position in your house and just wish and hope and pray that people are going to come your way. If you are insanely aligned in manifesting, you can think a thought and have it happen. But you even sitting to focus on the thought is action. And And if you're really aligned and believe that it's 100% true, you're going to be taking action. And so it's not this magic of like, I just pretend that leads are going to come. I hope they're going to come, but I'm scared that they're not. And then you just kind of get deer in the headlights and don't do anything. And I don't want you to be doing that. So the question that was asked of me, um, she actually said, I hate networking. So how do I generate leads for my business. How do I generate leads for my business? And I wanna go a little in depth here. She actually said along the lines of like her hate for lead gen was, or networking was, if someone gave me the option to go to a networking event or to clean the toilets as a janitor somewhere, I would clean the toilets, bring me the gloves. (laughs) And I giggled and I thought, I get it. Like this is not gonna work. You don't want to choose something you hate doing. Abraham Hicks says it's impossible to have a happy ending to a miserable journey. It's impossible to have a happy ending to a miserable journey. I want you to live by that because if you think you're going to show up and do shit that you hate in your business and then get a happy ending outcome where leads are flowing your way awesomely and you're feeling amazing, that doesn't work. That goes against universal principles. I always say you can't get what you want doing what you don't want to do. So if you're out in the world doing stuff you don't want to do to generate leads for your business, you're not going to get what you want, which is a fulfilling, flowing, fun, joyful, stressless business, right? Instead, you're going to get stress, burnout, overwhelm, and feel like shit. And we don't want to build prisons out of our business. And so let's talk about how to generate leads in a way that feels aligned so that it's client attraction based and that you're vibing high and the money's increasing month after month because you know how to do lead gen. Okay, so again, we're answering the question, how do I generate leads for my business? So the first thing, pick a strategy you enjoy doing. (laughs) Pick a strategy you enjoy doing. Don't do lead gen strategies that you think might work because you've watched all these coaches online and a whole bunch of people telling you you should do them and it worked for them and they made millions and so you're going to start trying to implement this one. That's not the way to do it. You don't want to do crap you hate to build your business or it will feel like drudgery and you'll be pushing a boulder up the hill. 
up, up a mountain the whole time. Okay, so pick a lead gen strategy you enjoy. So a question here to ask yourself if you've had business in the past, ask yourself what did I do to generate the leads originally and, and, and was it fun? Okay, and if that worked, keep doing it. Okay, and so uh, I'm gonna give you a whole big long list of lead gen strategies to try out. Networking, online or in person calling friends and families to do consults. These could be like quote unquote practice consults that you say, hey, I, I wanna practice doing a consult. And then that way when you're done with doing a consult with a friend or a family member, they know what you do and they can potentially bring you referrals. Or you never know, some of those people might turn into clients. They might go, oh, I didn't even know you did that. Wow, that was really helpful. I wanna work with you. How do I work with you? So you can do that webinars and or master classes okay if you love video you love teaching you could do webinars that are evergreen you could do webinars that are live you could do uh webinars that you send to companies to check out i mean the sky's the limit okay um, challenges. A lot of people do monthly challenges or you could do like a seven day challenge that's in your area of expertise to build your list and let people get exposure to you. It's like a sample of what you create in the world and then at the end have a way to follow up and, and lead them into your program, product or service. Um, create a Facebook group. Create a Facebook group. Uh, a lot of people love Facebook. I can't stand Facebook so I don't have a Facebook group. <laughs> People have asked me before, and I actually started one once, and I was like, I, and it was because uh, one of my consultants had told me to do it. It's what she does to build her business, and so I sh totally shoulded myself and did it, and within, uh, I don't know, a month, I was like hating it and resenting it, and I'm like, Amanda, what are you doing? I know better than this. When you do shit you don't love to do, you attract crap. <laughs> and, and you wake up feeling resentful and frustrated. So do stuff you love to do in your business. So I dropped it. I, you know, I said to my people, sorry, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. And I, I cut it off and I, I, that's teaching them through modeling. Like, Hey, this isn't something I enjoy. I love Instagram. I, I have enjoyed LinkedIn before too. I enjoy, uh, well, we, we won't go into what I enjoy. Just pay attention to what you enjoy so that you pay, you are doing the lead gen strategies that you enjoy. So if you like Facebook groups, rock it out. Um, you could join groups and be engaged in those groups. So let's say you don't want to start your own Facebook group. I had a, a coach friend who made uh, 250 grand a year just through pulling leads from Facebook groups. He would choose three and he was active every morning, two hours every morning. He'd be active, commenting, connecting with people. And he would have people DM him and say, I love what you were saying and teaching there. How can you help me? Can I work with you? And he built in one year a $250,000 business doing that. And it's just grown from there. And he started all with free organic on Facebook groups. Okay. Um, in, you can do those in person or online. You could also join groups in your community, hobbies based groups and things like that. Um, attend or run meetups. Meetups are a cheap, inexpensive, awesome way to get a whole bunch of exposure in your community. Um, when I started my business, I did live meetups. It was called the Peppy Entrepreneur and it stood for, uh, Pro productive, engaged, profitable, and inspired. The Peppy Entrepreneur. They were so fun. And, <laughs> I set them up at eight in the morning on Mondays and I didn't know better at the time. And so on Mondays I would show up. Sometimes I'd have one person there, zero and sometimes 15. And I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be here on Mondays. And then when it started snowing in the winter, no one would show up. And I'm like, okay, this was a bad idea. Yet you can do these online or you don't have to do them in the way that I did them. Do them at a time that works for you better and that more people could show up for. Um, but yes, Meetups, awesome, awesome way to attract new people. Meetups, and you can even charge for meetups if you want. They don't have to be free. Um, you could do a, you know, a one lecture series that then leads them into other parts of your business or to your main signature program, products or services. Um, workshop demonstrations. Let's say you have a brick and mortar business. You could run a workshop in a space, have people come, experience and sample and and, and be with you and then lead them to what your signature program is. Make sure that you get their information. In all of these, you wanna be making sure you're getting people's information uh, so that you can follow up. Okay, emailing. You could do cold, a cold emailing strategy. DMing. I have an 
awesome DM program that I use on Instagram and LinkedIn, and it works amazing. And it's it's um, it's like a social media CRM that helps me keep track of who I'm talking to. And I have incredible conversations with amazing women, and it's probably how you got here. Um, I share the podcast, and I say, hey, if you love podcasts, if you're a podcast junkie like me, check this out. And people love that offer because I'm not being salesy or gross. I'm just saying like, hey, check out my podcast. And so DMing is a great way when you do it in a non-creepy way. Don't be a salesy asshole. <laughs> and we all know that. I probably don't need to tell you that. But don't don't be pushy and don't, yeah. It, we all know those DMs that we get, usually from men, where it's like selling you crap you don't want and they're being pushy and it's gross. Don't do that. But DMing strategies work really well. Cold calling, you could cold call. You could post social media content. That's an organic strategy. Uh, you could speak at events for free or paid. You can do mail outs like postcards. You can put something unique in there. You can do referral programs and you could do ads. I don't recommend doing paid ads if you're newer and don't know what you're doing because you could you would just be wasting money. But ads could be something that you do if you have some skills at this and test it out and then you could get something that works and then scale it. So there's there are, I didn't write down how many uh, number of lead gen strategies those are, but there are a lot. And just again, remember this point, pick a strategy that you enjoy. Don't do crap you hate and think that you're gonna build your business in a fun, flowing, easy way that creates magnetic money coming your way. If you're doing stuff you don't like, you're gonna push away opportunities and push away your wealth and push away your ease and joy and flow and fun of building your business because you're gonna be feeling like crap every day. So don't do that. So pick a strategy you enjoy. Um, Number two, track for results, okay? If you are the CEO of your company, you are going to be tracking for results. You're not just guessing and hoping and wishing that that your company will scale. You are being strategic and you're looking at what's working and what's not working and pivoting accordingly. And then number three, when you find the one that you've tracked that works, rinse and repeat. Okay, and I say if you're pre six figures, you just need a couple strategies and you powerhouse them until you get to six figures. When you're ready to scale to the next level, for me, I have several strategies. I have a board over here in my office that um, my honey and I just wrote down one, two, three, four, five columns of all the things that we're building and scaling because we're past six figures and we're scaling to seven. Now we've got bigger things going on and big, you know, hiring more people and expanding team and expanding lead gen strategies. You don't need to do that at first. When I started my business, I had one lead gen strat, well, two. I went to networking events and I posted on social media. That was the first. Then I added the meetups. That was the third thing I did. And that was it. I think those were my three, but really I started with networking events and that was it. And then I was like, oh, I better have some social media presence growing. So I started doing organic social media posts and talking to people that way. Uh, I would use my podcast episodes and promote those on social media. And then I started the meetup group and that went for a while. So you don't need to overdo it. Do things you enjoy. And if you discover that you don't enjoy them, cut them off and do something different. Okay, this is your business that you're creating. You're designing your life and your business from a place of joy and freedom, or you're designing your life and business from a place of stress. And if you want to have a happy ending to a happy journey, that's possible. If you want to have a miserable journey, a miserable ending to a miserable journey, that's possible too. So just choose what you want to create. Let me recap. These are your action steps. Number one, pick a strategy you enjoy to generate leads. Number two, track for results. And number three, rinse and repeat. Thanks so much for being here with me. And don't forget to submit a question. Go to speakpipe.com backslash the woman entrepreneur podcast. And I'll answer your questions right on the show. Sending you tons of love, lead gen, awesome vibes your way, hugs and NFA money making high fives.